I call on the representative of Indonesia. Madam President, I'm taking the floor to exercise Indonesia's right of reply to the statement made by Vanuatu. It is shameful that this single country continues to have excessive and unhealthy obsession about how Indonesia should act or govern itself. Frankly speaking, I'm confused. How could a country try to teach others while missing the point of the whole fundamental principles of the United Nations Charter? Let me tell them the following. To do what is right is to respect the principles of non-interference in the domestic affairs of other countries. And to do what is right, it is to respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of other countries. So until you have done so, please keep the sermon to yourself. Madam President, the President of Indonesia stated a few days ago in this great hall of nations. And I quote, we must promote a win-win approach in building relations among state that is mutually beneficial, unquote. Indeed, such a call was echoed by world leaders throughout this prominent week. But this ignorant country chooses the contrary. At times of an emergency health crisis and great economic adversity, it prefers to instill enmity and sow division by guising their advocacy for separatism with flowery human rights concern. Indonesia, comprising of more than hundreds of ethnic groups, a diverse and multicultural nation with thousands of tribes and hundreds of local languages spreading across more than 17,400 islands is committed to human rights. We value diversity, we respect tolerance, and everybody has the same right in this third largest democratic country in the world. We have also promoted and protected human rights where each individual has the same rights under the law. Furthermore, we have ratified the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination. While interestingly, Vanuatu has not even signed it. And how could one talk about promoting the right of indigenous people when it does not even sign the International Covenant on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights, the core human rights instrument? This actually raises the question, do they really care about indigenous concern? More importantly, Vanuatu has not signed and ratified the Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhuman, or Degrading Treatment or Punishment. We call on the government of Vanuatu to please fulfill your human rights responsibility to your people and to the world. Madam President, the accusation of human rights is typical. A tall tale that they sell and stage over the years in the hall. Let me tell them, you are no representation of the people of Papua. And stop fantasizing of being one. Papuans 
are Indonesians. All of us play an important role in the development of Indonesia, including on the island of Papua. Madam President, the principles of the UN Charter, which Vanuatu clearly does not seem to understand, stipulates the respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity. Indonesia will defend itself against any continuing advocacy of separatism conveyed under the guise of artificial human rights concern. The provinces of Papua and West Papua are irrevo irrevocable parts of Indonesia since 1945. It has also been firmly endorsed by the United Nations and the international community decades ago. It is final, irreversible, and permanent. I thank you, Madam President.